Now it is time to remove the front bearing from your spindle by using a hydraulic or arbor type press. You should be careful when placing your blocks on the retainer so that the spindle will not hit them when you press the bearing off. New class 3 bearings have a heat mark on them, both on the inner and the outer races. When installing the outer race, I line the heat mark up at the thinnest spot of the carrier to the bore, and I line up the inner race with the keyway on the spindle. This should make the spindle run as true as possible. Install the outer bearing races in the bores, heat marks to the thin spot. I usually tap the outer bearing races into the carrier bores with a hammer and punch. Many people now cool the races with dry ice, which enables the bearing races to slide in smoothly without the aid of a hammer. Stand your spindle on end with the collet end on the table and slide the retainer over the spindle. Check to make sure that it turns freely when it is in place. If the spindle hits the blocks when you press it off, it will probably turn hard. You will need to remove the retainer and stone the area where they hit until it moves freely. If you are installing a new retainer on a new spindle and it turns hard, use some bluing to find out where the retainer is binding. Now it is time to heat your flinger and bearing. There are a number of different ways to do this such as using a hot plate and a can of oil, a commercial bearing heater, or induction bearing heaters. Currently I have been using a heat gun. It works fairly quickly and is inexpensive. My favorite method is to use induction heaters because they work the quickest. Keep in mind the goal is to only slightly heat the bearing. Timken recommends a 200 degree Fahrenheit setting when using an induction heater as the bearings will lose their temper at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Slide your hot flinger on the spindle. You should have a heavy bushing which will fit over the spindle. The bushing is important in case the flinger or bearing does not drop all the way down. Then you can knock the flinger and bearing the rest of the way down with the bushing. With the flinger in place and cooled down, check to make sure that the retainer still turns freely. Now heat the bearing cone. Slide your hot bearing on the spindle, keeping your heat mark lined up with the keyway on the spindle. As the bearing cools, tap it down with the bushing to keep it seated against the flinger. 